Silver Linings Playbook. Zero Dark Thirty. Lincoln. Les Miserables. Life of Pi. Argo. Those are the big nominees. So who will be Hollywood's big winners on Sunday night? We are making our annual Oscar picks today with our movie guy, Aaron Lafferty. And what do you want us to do? Okay, <laughs> so we're picking in five categories today. Um, we, we're doing more, but we only have time for so mm -hmm. many. So we're doing the, uh, the acting categories and animated movie and okay. best director, best picture. All okay. right, so here we go. <clears throat> so best animated feature, we've got Brave, Frank and Weenie, Paranorman, Pirates, Band of Misfits, and Wreck-It Ralph. You know, for me, I was um, <coughs> confessing that this was the hardest category for me because um, you've seen this is most. where I've seen most of the movies. <laughs> right. This is a mother of two little kids. Okay. Yeah. So, what'd you guys pick? Oh, I went with Wreck-It Ralph. I've been I went with Wreck-It Ralph. Weeks, so. I, I haven't seen any of these, but Wreck-It Ralph is one that uh, I think I would be most compelled. I went with Brave because it was awesome in Pixar always reigns supreme at the Oscars and so I'm gonna go with a little bit of history really talking about how much success Pixar has had and it's a, it was a beautiful Pixar movie. Mm -hmm. And so. Brave was a Pixar movie and if people keep voting Pixar that's probably what it'll, it'll win. It's a, yeah. it's a Pixar movie that feels like a Disney movie and Wreck-It Ralph was a Disney movie that felt like Pixar huh. as far as the you know the Toy Story-esque feelings. Yeah. So. Okay yeah. so best actor princesses. this yes. is gonna be a tough one mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Yes? Okay. I, I, I don't think so I think this is a slam dunk if you're doing your Oscar pool at home Bradley Cooper, Daniel Day-Lewis, Hugh Jackman, Joaquin Phoenix, and Denzel Washington. Daniel Day-Lewis has won every awards category leading up to Oscars, so he's a slam dunk for me. I went okay. with him as well. Interesting. Terry, well, you departed. I did because I, I actually my my second choice was Bradley Cooper, but I Which went. Which was a good choice. Well, I went with Hugh Jackman because I loved Les Mis and I was blown away with just the talent. I, I thought the performance was spellbinding. Yeah. So I went sure. with Hugh Jackman, Les Mis. Mm -hmm. There's never a bad choice. Mm -hmm. It's just right. who actually wins. Okay. All right, Best Actress, uh, Jessica Chastain for Zero Dark Thirty. Jennifer Lawrence, Silver Linings Playbook. Emmanuel Riva for Amour. She's 85 years old. She's the oldest Best Actress mm. nominee. Then you also have Kovanjane Wallace from Beasts of the Southern Wild. She's nine years old. She's the youngest be Best Actress nominee, so we could get history in either of those two. And then Naomi Watts for The Impossible. Okay. okay. I went with Jennifer Lawrence. Okay. I went with Jennifer Lawrence. That's a sweep then, Jennifer okay. Lawrence. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Three for three in that one. She's won the SAG and the Golden Globe, so it's a good, good. And she's team. just, she's just really on a wave right, right now and doing some really great stuff, and I right. think that it's going to be in her favor. Yes. Okay. This. I agree. All right. Best director. This is the one that I think we're going to see some history on. Uh, Michael Haneke for Amor, Ben Zeitlin for Beasts of the Southern Wild, Ang Lee, Life of Pi, Steven Spielberg, Lincoln, and David O. Russell, Silver Linings Playbook. Uh, this is leading up to the, the year that we may get a movie that wins Best Picture, Best Director, they were not nominated. Oh, okay. right. And that typically yeah, happens. It's usually pretty much closely linked. It's usually, yes. Okay. And so this inter <laughs> is interesting. I um, really thought maybe Ang Lee, but I went with Steven Spielberg. For this I was one. thinking Spielberg, but I, in, I went with David O. Russell just yeah, because Silver Lining Playbook has been such a, it seems like Hollywood loves that. Right. Mm -hmm. That if it's not Argo so because much. Ben Affleck's not nominated, right. it might be Silver Lining Playbook. Mm -hmm. I actually think it's Spielberg's to lose because Affleck's not nominated, Catherine Bigelow's not nominated, Quentin Tarantino's not nominated, All and, the and, big Tom, and Tom Hooper directors. from Les Mis, your favorite movie. Right. Those four are not nominated, so I think it's Spielberg's by default. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't won since. Uh, Saving Private Ryan. Okay, so yeah. Interesting. It's been a while. For okay. Me. So then we come to Best Picture. Best Picture, nine nominees this year. You can have up to ten every year now, the new, the new rules. We have Amor, Argo, Beast of the Southern Wild, Django Unchained, Les Mis, Life of Pi, Lincoln, Silver Linings Playbook, and Zero Dark Thirty. So a wide field. Okay, so where'd you guys go? I'm going Argo. Me too. Uh, it's got the it's got all the momentum right now. Okay, and I, um, you know, and, and this is a great choice too because I think that you right. know Hollywood tends to be emotional with the way they vote. Yeah, and Ben Affleck was yeah. not. He was snubbed basically right. at the Oscars, and so I kind of think that too. I think Argo might be. And it's a really good movie, which you can now rent. It came out on Tuesday, ah, so nice. if yeah. you okay. haven't seen it, but you rent chose it. a different movie. Too, I right? did because right. I, you know what? And here, maybe this is why I lose every year. <laughs> you go <laughs> because with your heart. I go with my heart. I just I, I have to think that it, I think had Les Mis been released maybe um, a little later, then people mm. might act, they might actually win. But I could not vote against it because sure. I loved it so much. Sure, you had to so, go with your heart sometimes. Yeah, I went with Les Mis. I thought it was well done. I thought it was. Um, it, it's a complex story. It's mm -hmm. long, um, mm -hmm. but it, I just thought they did a great job in capturing the story. And 
translating to the silver screen. So. I think so, some of the some of the knocks that have been on that movie might hurt it in the Oscar bunny. Okay. Yeah. So, well, that's we'll good. As you can see, we had some differences too, so it won't be like a clear cut right. um, choice maybe of the winner. But right. on Monday, we will uh, celebrate. Someone will be uh, celebrating a victory. That's right. So. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> Enjoy the Oscars. Yep. Sunday night. We'll be right back.